Hi everyone. Let us continue the remaining solutions of TS TET paper 2 in this video. Let us come to question number 104. If LCM and HCF of two numbers are 105 and 7 respectively, if one of the number is 21, then the other number is dash. So, given LCM is equal to 105 and HCF is given 7 and out of the two numbers, one of the number is also given, let one of the number is A. is 21 you need to find other number other number let it be b is equal to question mark you know the formula relation between two numbers and lcm and hcf is product of two numbers is nothing but lcm into hcf so using this relation you can find easily b value let us substitute a value 21 multiplied with b gives you LCM into HCF 105 into 7 therefore B is equal to 105 into 7 by 21 so let us do cancellation 21 1s are 21 5s are 5 into 7 gives 35 so B value other number is 35 so our option second one is correct let us continue with the next question 105 the distance between origin and centroid of the triangle formed with points 0, 2, 0, 4 and 3, 3 is dash. So, you need to find the distance between origin and centroid of the triangle. So, the triangle vertices are given. Let us think the vertices are A, B, C. 0, 2, third, second one 0, 4 and third vertex 3, 3. So, the centroid of this triangle formed with these points and origin. We need to find the distance. So, centroid G is given by the formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. These are the coordinates of the point which is a centroid of the triangle. So, centroid G is given by x1 means this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2, this is x3, this is y3. Let us substitute these values 0 plus 0 plus 3 by 3 and y1 means 2 plus 4 plus 3 by 3. Let us find the centroid now 3 by 3 which is 1 and this is 9 by 3 which is 3. Now, this is the centroid and we need to find the distance between centroid G13 and origin O00. So, we need to find the distance between these two points. Now, distance between the two points is given by the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Using this formula, we can find the distance between these two points. This is given by, let us write this side, x2 minus x1 is nothing but square root of 1 minus 0 whole square plus 3 minus 0 whole square. So, here you have here, this is x1, this is x2, this is y1, and this is y2. Using these values you are doing the distance between the two points which is equal to square root of 1 square plus 3 square which is nothing but square root of 1 plus 9 that is square root of 10. So the answer is square root of 10 units. So option 4 is correct answer. Let us see the next question. An iron ball with radius 6 cm is melted to form a cylinder of radius 8 cm. Then the height of the cylinder in centimeters is. Okay, given it as iron ball with radius 6 cm is melted to form cylinder. As the sphere is melted and made as cylinder, their volume should be same. Okay, therefore volume of cylinder, volume of sphere, spherical ball is same as volume of cylinder. 
So let us equate them. Volume of sphere is given by the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube. Here radius of the sphere is given 6 cm. So 4 by 3 into pi let us keep as pi only. r cube is 6 cube. So, we can write this as 4 by 3 into pi into 216. Let us do cancellation. 3 table, 3 ones are 3, 72 are 72 are. So, now 72 into 4 gives you 288 pi centimeter cube. So, this is the volume of the sphere. Now, volume of cylinder, let us see the volume of cylinder. Volume of cylinder is given by the formula pi r square h. So, here radius of the cylinder is given 8 centimeters. So, let us write pi into 8 square into h which is nothing but pi into 64 into h. Now, let us equate centimeter cube. Let us equate this volume of sphere with volume of cylinder. So, let us write now 288 pi is same as pi into 64 into h. Now, pi pi get cancelled. That's why we didn't uh, substitute anything instead of pi. So, now coming to h is equal to bring the 64 to the other side. 288 by 64. Which gives you in 8 table, 8 8s are 64. 8 3s are 24. 8 6 are 48. Again, uh, 4 table, 4 2s are 4 9s are. So, h is equal to 9 by 2, 9 by 2 centimeter, which is nothing but if you put in decimal form, 4.5 centimeter. So, h value is 4.5. The option is 1. This is the correct answer. Now, coming to question number 107. If probability of E is 0 0.05, then the probability of not E is. So, probability of E is given. 0.05. So, total you think as 1 always. Whenever the fraction form is given or a decimal form is given, total probability you should think it as always 1. So, probability of not E means you have to represent like this. P dash E is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05 which is nothing but 1 means you think it as 1.00 minus 0 0.05 which on subtraction you will get it as 0 0.95. So, the answer is option number 1. Now, coming to question 108. 2 tan 30 degrees by 1 plus tan square 45 degrees is equal to dash. As the options are all in sine or cos or tan, uh, let us not write all the values of tans. Uh, keep 2 tan 30 degrees as it is and down you can write it as 1 plus, now you can substitute the value of tan 45 here. Actually tan 45 we know it as 1. So tan 45 is 1 means tan square 45 is 1 square. So which is nothing but 2 tan 30 degrees by 1 plus 1 square. 1 plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 which is 2. So this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. The answer is tan 30 degrees. So our option is option number 3. Now, next question 109. Cosecant theta plus cot theta by cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to dash. So, we need to find the value of cosecant theta plus cot theta by cosecant theta minus cot theta. So, multiplying on both sides with cosecant theta plus cot theta. Let us multiply on the numerator and denominator with cosecant theta plus cot theta. By denominator also I will multiply with cosecant theta plus cot theta. Let us see what do we get. So, in the numerator you will get a plus b into a plus b like a plus b whole square. So, we can write it as cosecant theta plus cot theta two times multiplied with itself. So, we can write it as whole square by in the denominator if you observe cosecant theta minus cot theta multiplied with cosecant theta plus cot theta. It is in the form of a minus b into a plus b which can be written as a square minus b square. So, we can write this as cosecant square theta 
minus b square means cot square theta. So, we have an identity that cosecant square theta minus in the trigonometry we have an identity cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. So, let us substitute that 1 in the denominator. So, we will get cosecant theta plus cot theta whole square by 1 which is nothing but numerator itself cosecant theta plus cot theta whole square that is your answer so option 2 is the correct answer now let us see the next question 110 3 7 11 and so on are in arithmetic progression and 1 3 9 and so on are in geometric progression then the first common number in both series is Okay, let us write the first series 3, 7, 11 and so on. So, let us write continue the series. Here if you observe 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 4 is 11. So, common difference D is 4 here. So, let us add that 4 to 11. You will get here 15 and next adding 4 to again 15 we will get 19. Again 4 to 19 we will get 23. Again add 4 to this 27 and so on. Let us continue and so on. And now coming to this is in AP. Coming to the next series you have 1, 3, 9 and so on are in geometric progression. So geometric progression means you will be getting common ratio. So 1 into what gives you 3, 3 into what gives you 9 that is the common ratio. So 1 into 4 is so 1 into 3 is equal to 3 and 3 into 3 is again 9. So, we have to get the next number by multiplying 9 with 3. 9 into 3 gives you 27 and so on. So, if you observe why did I stop here 27 because I have seen a common term here in the AP series and GP series. So, the first common term in the both series is 27. So, our option is option 2. Now, coming to the next question 111. Sita buys a scooter for 10,000 rupees and spends 8,000 rupees on its repair. If she sells a scooter for 19,800 rupees, then the percentage of profit gained by Sita is. Okay. Given money spent to buy the scooter is 10,000 rupees. This is the cost of the scooter. And still she spent 8,000 rupees on the repair. So this 10,000 is not CP. We have to add this 8,000 also which we call as overhead expenses. This is the cost of the scooter and this is the overhead expenses. Money spent on repairs or money spent for transportation etc. Whatever the money spent after buying something. We call them as overhead expenses. We need to add them always and get that, that amount is CP. So 18,000 rupees is the CP. So this is the CP of the scooter and she spent sorry she's got the amount 19,800 after selling it so sp is given sp is 19,800 this is sp of the scooter now what is the gain or profit whatever she earned nothing but sp minus cp so which is 19,800 minus 18,000 rupees which is nothing but rupees 1800 1,800 rupees this is the gain she earned on the selling the scooter now gain percent let us find the gain percent gain percent is equal to formula gain by cp into 100 so gain is 1800 by cp is 18000 multiplied by 100 so let us do the cancellation two zeros two zeros cancel and one zero from here and one zero from here now 18 18 also get cancelled so, simply 10% is the answer, 10% profit. So, the option 3 is correct. Now, let us see next question 112. If 3 coins are tossed simultaneously, then the probability of getting 3 heads is. So, if 3 coins are tossed simultaneously, the number of outcomes are, let us see the outcome starts with H first. H, H, H means 3 coins facing H each or first coin may be H and the remaining 2 coins may be tails each or first coin may be head and second coin also may be tail and next one may be head again or H and H and T 
these are these are the four outcomes which starts with h now let us write simultan like that only similarly starting with the tail so three coins may face tail each or first one may be tail second both may be heads each and first one and second one are head and the third one may be sorry first and second are tails and the third one may be head or tail with head and tail so these are the total eight outcomes so total there are eight outcomes now we want probability of getting three heads so three heads are only once happens out of eight outcomes there is head 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 only one time so probability of getting h h h three heads is nothing but one out of eight outcomes so the answer is 1 by 8 option 1 is the correct answer now coming to the next question 113 sin 60 by cos 30 multiplied with cos 90 let us their uh, values sin 60 you know that it is root 3 by 2 by cos 30 it is also same as sin 60 root 3 by 2 cos 90 you know cos 90 is 0 so just simplify this you will get the answer so root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 will cancel in the numerator and denominator so simply 0 so 0 is the answer option 2 is the correct one now coming to the last question 114 the greatest number in 6 square 3 power 4 4 power 3 and 2 power 6 is so let us write the actual values of 6 square 3 power 4 etc let us write 6 square as 6 into 6 which is nothing but 36 and 3 power 4 3 multiplied with itself four times which is nothing but 81 and 4 power 3 4 multiplied with itself three times 4 4 just 16 16 4 just 64 next 2 power 6 2 power 6 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So three times if you multiply, got 8. Three times again, 8. 8 into 8. This is also 64. So highest among this, greatest number among this is 81. So 3 power 4 is the highest. So the answer, option 3 is correct. Thank you.